Just how it is, man. I, I mean, is it is it because of the uh, the forum posts or what? Yeah, they want you to read the new one. Okay, fine. What's it called? Uh, it's in the 30 to 39 bracket forms. Okay, uh, just a second. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Uh, two Asmongold. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a post they made about me. Yeah. Welcome to the 39 community. Many people are very enthused with you deciding to make a 39 twink. There are a lot of things that come with being a twink. That is for sure. With great power comes great responsibility. I hope that you find true delight as mine, as I and many others have over the years as you make your 39 mage a top tier twink in the bracket. What is good gear is uh, and great is up to debate, but there are definitely a few tiers of twinks that can be made. Some have to go budget twink, others get the opportunity to go all out and get all the items they need at whatever cost or it takes to achieve. We did some updating to 39 Armory to help keep you and many people uh, you have brought to the community in the right direction. At some point you will learn about scaled epics. I have a guide in the 39 forum that helps explain what it takes to get these items to drop. Hand of Edward the Odd is your real main hand best in slot, not this epic dagger that you currently have. Oh shit! What? Oh shit! Wait, what the fuck? I didn't... Even... Yeah, you can, you can get Hand of Edward the Odd. What the fuck is this, dude? Okay, uh, let's see here. Well, wait a second. You can't use a mace on a mage. Oh. Wait, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about either. <laughs> and he's a moderator. Does anybody know what they're talking about anywhere, ever? What, what do you have to say about this? I'm joking. This guy's being very nice. Okay, okay. good. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you need help or ideas in the community, not hesitate to get in touch with me. The 39 community has been a great place for a long time. I was new with our newest celeb. Many of its uh, current legends and icons in the bracket are thrilled to have you here. Uh, to the 39 community, we have a great opportunity right now. Competition, fun, and camaraderie are the things that have already al always made the 39 bracket special. Revivals have occurred in the past, and the thing that ultimately ended it was toxicity amongst the player base. That's true. Um, wow. Thank you for your time and commitment and you are what makes us great, each and every one of you, no matter what your skill or gear, it's a dedication to constantly improving and helping others get better that will make us all successful. Wow. Damn. Holy shit, dude. These guys are actually being, they're being nice. Um, holy yeah, except shit. Except this guy that just commented. Wait, what'd he say? At the bottom. Okay. We're ruining everything. The bracket. Just read his oh. post. Read his post. Ooh, boy. Okay, dude. Here we go. Um. Oh, okay. That it's taking forever to load. Alrighty. Also, you ignored my donation. Wait. What did I? Let me see. Um. Uh, what's the sound of the song? It sounds like a choir singing demonic and angelic voices. Sorry if that's not descriptive enough. Yeah, that really is not. Uh, it could be something from Nightwish or maybe Ghost BC. You could try those too. Maybe that's going to be a step in the right direction. Can you do a straw poll on Classic versus Max, please? I love your streams, man. No, because I think people just vote and troll. Uh, has FFPP whenever one person is using Classic versus someone else using Max, or is an advantage uh, that you would get? I agree with you. Classic settings all the way. Normie's out. I don't know. That's not really something I'm I, I'm interested in. Uh, Anastasia, thank you very much to the five. I appreciate that. Hi with the happy face. Thank you very much. Imagine having mods of her band long time viewers for saying classic haha, gotta love the 1980s graphics. Also, updated graphics don't affect your gameplay at all unless you are so sour about the change that it lets you affect that way. Well, 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 I mean, like, is that actually what you said, though? Let me see. Um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, you shouldn't have been perma banned for that. Let me see. Um,. Unban. Okay, yeah, you're unbanned. Like, that's... It, it's not... I mean, it's, that's obnoxious, right? Like, you're being obnoxious. Like, 100% obnoxious. But that's not permaban. Okay. Uh, it, it's hard, really, to, to make decisions and know how to make the right decision every time. Double Agent Neutral Panda. What about? Alright, just a second. I'll read the rest of these. Sorry, guys. Um, 
never haven't played vanilla wow but why would new players like me play outdated graphics while having no nostalgia bias uh it's just the feel of the game and it's not necessarily anything uh that necessarily like it doesn't improve gameplay one way or another. I think it just it, there's a certain feel to certain games, and I feel like the graphics were part of that feel. And whenever you change the graphics, you change the feel. And I, I don't want to see change to the game. Funny thing is, back in Wrath and Early Catatoro, Bissett used to talk about why the game was going in a terrible direction and what damage the changes at the time could do to the game in the long run. He was completely right. I miss him. Rip Total Biscuit. Absolutely, man. Uh, it, it's actually funny to see like how a small change in like Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King has led to something that's been terrible that like basically came to fruition in Nissa Pandaria or WAD or Legion or even BFA. Uh, I think there's a lot of examples of that. Uh, Zach Price, thank you much for the 500 bits. I appreciate that very much, man. Thank you, thank you. Okay, just a second. Um, what rhymes with Asmongold and no hair? Nothing. Okay. No, uh, this was about that. Okay, let me go up to here. Um... I have to say, I don't share Sun's feelings or thoughts on this subject whatsoever. Asmon and McLeely, McLeely have done damage to the bracket by shifting the already shitty ally to horde ratios e into an even worse state. Don't get me wrong, farming them and all the little fanboys is fun, but longer queue times and skewed faction populations is not worth it at all in my opinion. Anyways, most of them will be gone in a few weeks when this balding shit lord finds something else to fuck up. Then things will hopefully go back to normal. All right. And he signed his own post. You're so fucking pretentious, it makes me sick. You're a fucking disgusting cuck. Nobody cares about you. Let me see. Okay, I can't find his name on Google. Um, I was going to try to find... Let me see if I can find this guy's armory. Let me see. Postings? Um. All content by Trap. Oh, there's only two posts. That's it, I can't even find his fucking armory. Damn it, man. Is that the guy that I uh, that you want me to look at? Yeah, that's him. What an idiot, dude. You fucking coward. He doesn't even, he doesn't want to show his character. It's fine. Here's the way I look at it, man. Is it if he's gonna get mad? Fuck him, dude. It doesn't even matter. Like, honestly, nobody really cares what he thinks, obviously. And luckily, he doesn't post too often, so people aren't subjected to his stupidity quite as often. That's good. The way that I look at this is like, yeah, we're gonna do what we want. Yo, let's queue an arena, dude. You wanna queue an arena? No, I'm good. Wait, why not? I uh, wanted to I see what it was like. Okay, go ahead. Queue a fucking arena, dude. Get on your other character. What other character? You're a warrior. What do you mean, what other character? Oh. What are you doing instead? You're in trade district. You're not doing anything. Oh, very interesting. I just had someone give me his armory. Oh. See, listen, dude. We have our resources. Right, I'll link it on Discord. Okay. So I'm about to get exposed. We got him, boys. We got him. There it is. There he is. We found him. All right, let me go over to his... Uh, let, let's look at his achievements. Let's find his feats of strength. Okay. So before I click on raids, how many... Um, or actually, let, let's look. Do you guys think this guy's a challenger, a duelist, a rival, or a gladiator? Like, what do you guys think? If you had to guess, one of the th one of the four. None. He's a combatant. Okay, let's look at PvP. Fucking embarrassing, man. At least he got ahead of the curve, man. So this guy's had this account for seven years, at least, right? Because he's got the last man standing. Not once has he made it to even challenger.
I mean, I, I, seriously, think about that. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is not good, man. What do you even say about somebody like that? Let that sink in. Wow. Oh wait, no, never mind. He's got up to 2K before. Oh, oh, he's good. This guy's gotten up to 2K. Okay, he, never mind. He, he is oh good. Oh my he's god. Good wow. He's a good player. He is a good player. Holy fuck. Okay, yeah, this guy's a literal god. He's done 300 arena matches. Wow. Okay, well this is... I mean, I'm just glad that we found, obviously, it's a very good player here. I haven't gotten challenger or anything yet. How do you not have challenger? Oh, because it was two. Oh, it was only twos. Okay, that's right. Oh, we got 2k achievement. Twinking at level 70. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe he has the uh, the war glaive achievement, and we can find it that way. Um, feats of strength. Uh, is it dungeons? Okay, brew fast mount. Okay, dungeons. Raids. No, I don't think that he even has that. Okay, so this guy's played the game. Looks like he's played on and off. I just, I don't see, like, where do people like this come in, man? What do you even say know. about this? I don't know. Like, but honestly, like, being able to find people's armories is probably the most rewarding thing that I can do. And, like, just make fun of them for being bad. That's one of my favorite things about play, uh, about seeing people on the official forums is because you know where they are, right? You know if they're good or not. And to me, it's fucking hilarious. Okay, just one second. Uh, I'm a shit ward, don't armor me? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, hey, Asmon, chat, remember to check your testicles for lumps at least once per week. Don't do it now, Asmon, please. Too late. Thank you very much for the five. I appreciate it. Hey, Asmon, how do I give my Amazon Prime sub to you? It's a good question. You click the button up above, you give me a free Twitch Prime sub. That's how you do it. Mogdella with the $19.05, and he said, I love your stream. Thank you so much, man. I really fucking appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mog. Wow. Uh, thank you very much. Example of Asmon's sensible graphics. Remember, George Lucas went back to improve on the original Star Wars trilogy. He altered a lot of the effects. Many people disliked it, even if the effects were more modern, as it removed the authenticity. Yeah, I mean, there's that, too. I mean, there's a lot of reasons and a lot of uh, different parallels you can draw. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You need to reban that guy. He said the N-word, and he showed it on your screen. Really? Um, uh, no, he didn't. Like, what do you mean? No, no, he didn't. Like, why, why would you even say that? Uh, we'll get the other month. Okay, well, let me look at that here. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. He's just spamming. Look at this. Look at this guy's messages. It's just a bunch of Omega Wolves. That's it. Wow. Uh, the guy before him did, and it showed. Well, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, let me see. Oh, this guy. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, I remember him. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that guy, I mean, he just likes to laugh it up, man. That's all it is.